trajectory. Hey, welcome to the channel, everybody. It's me, RP, and thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me steal some of your time as we check out Planet Crafter, the full version. All right, so this is the uh, average guy playthrough. I am just a working guy that makes videos on uh, simulation games, and I just play the game, man. I just give you the honest look at the game, and I stumble my way through it, and uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start right here with this message, see what's going on here. All right, welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. You'll need to generate O2 heat and pressure. And we are shooting for a blue sky atmosphere, and we need to get 175000TI up there. All right, so whatever that means, and we'll figure out what all that means as we go along here, we do get a little care package that was sent down with us. We've got three extra oxygen along with a water, some food, and a plant. That's awesome. I'll take that, but I'll leave that right now. I did take one oxygen so that I have it. Let's go ahead and start with the basics. First steps, let's craft the backpack and let's craft some oxygen tanks. And for that, I need iron and cobalt and magnesium and iron. All right. So I have to go on out here into the uh, planet surface where I have only limited oxygen uh, to get the things that I need. So let's go ahead and move quickly. Obviously, right? So what I'm going to do is just play the game and play the game the way I would play it. Uh, I did play this game in early access, full disclosure, so I'm not a total noob to the game. Uh, I have had some experience with it. So I do believe that is everything I need. Let's pop back in here. Yep, get that made and oxygen tanks made. Go ahead and equip the backpack and the oxygen tanks. All right, we need some uh, microchip construction hammer, microchip deconstruction hammer, and that is silicone and magnesium for both of those. Looks like we arrived uh, very uh, late on this planet. It's already dark. I apologize for that, but I want to just keep going. Uh, it's not that bad, and I think the light is going to break pretty soon here. So let's look around here and see if we can find the materials we need. We need magnesium, and we also need silicone. I see some magnesium right here. Let's see if we can find some more. Here's some right here. I see another one right over here. All right, it's starting to get light out. Very good. Still have some air left. Let's see if we can find some uh, silicone right here. Need two more of these. Hopefully we can find it. Here's some, there's one right over here. All right. And one right here. Great. So that gives us everything we need. Let's get back to the shelter of the uh, cabin. I do have one oxygen on me. I'm going to try to hold off. See if I can make it there before my uh, oxygen uh, runs out on me, basically. I've cut it pretty close in this game, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this and make this. Quickly equip those onto our belt. We can extend this belt once we get to our uh, main base, the base that we're going to start building. Right now, we're just kind of getting a few first steps done as we uh, just landed here. Now, what we can do now is leave here, and we're going to head up over there to where those stone pillars are and uh, start building our base. This is a lake bed that we landed in, so this will eventually be filled with water. So let's go ahead and just grab, uh, I think what I'm going to do is leave everything here except for the oxygen. And what we're going to do is we're going to head out and we're going to start building our base uh, in the location that we need to be. Basically, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to grab a couple of materials as I head up the hill here. Try to find as much iron. Uh, we need titanium as well as iron to build a um, habitat. So we'll grab as much of that as we can and uh, make our way up. We do have extra oxygen on us, so we can have a little bit of time out here collecting resources. Iron is going to be uh, super valuable. We got a chest right here that holds food. We'll take the iron, because that's what we need. We'll come back for this. Uh, it's not that far from where we uh, landed and not that far from where we're headed. I need a bunch of titanium now. I'm going to 
reserve the last bit of my inventory space for some titanium so that once we get up here, uh, we can start building. We need to get at least one shelter down. I'm full already. Let's go ahead and consume an oxygen. That opens up a space. I hope everybody's having a great day. And uh, thank you so much again for hanging out with me and supporting my little channel. I do appreciate it appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me the love and support has been extraordinary uh you guys have helped me get to the 2000 mark uh you know within like four months of me starting this channel and i and i can't thank you enough for it all right so let's put down a foundation i think i don't need it that way well, i think i will make it this high and then i'm going to put a habitat on top of this so let me make sure i kind of get it centered you know centered the best that i can and i think that right there should do it i would also like to add one more foundation we'll lock that on right there and then let's go ahead and get ourselves a set of stairs line that up we want to make sure that that's connected properly and it is we're going to have to consume one more air and now we're going to uh, build the door. Let's go ahead and add the door to this. And there we go. Start of our base. Let's check it out. Looks pretty good. All right, not bad. Very good. All right, so let's see what we have in our inventory. That's tab. All right, so I can actually build uh, one more unit. Let's go ahead and expand this out one more time. Just like that. Uh, I also want to see what I need to have for my uh, crafting station. We need a T2 crafting station very quickly. So what was I missing? I'm missing silicone right here. Right, so these are the first steps that I do uh, to play the game when I started playing it in early access. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down here temporarily. Uh, but what this does for us is now we can produce our own water and we can produce oxygen. Uh, we can make the uh, ex e Echo Skeleton piece, which is going to uh, let us have more slots on our tool belt. So let's go ahead and take care of that right away. We're going to need more uh, more space anyway to uh, have more tools. So I'm going to grab some random uh, pieces here. Grab a little bit of magnesium and uh, the ever popular silicone, uh, which is kind of uh, kind of one of the ones that you're always uh, in need of. At some point, we will be drilling into the ground to mine resources. We won't have to scoop them up off the surface like this. Uh, but until that day comes, uh, we will be gathering. All right, let's see. Did we get enough to make this? We did. All right, let's go ahead and take off one of these and we'll throw this on. And that just expanded our tool belt, which is awesome. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. Got this little starting space right here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of iron that I have, and I'm going to make a chest real quick. Put that chest right here. And I've got one air and one titanium. So let's go ahead and grab a few of these coal bolts right here. Uh, we also need water. So what I'll do is I'll grab a cobalt and I'll grab this ice right here. I'm gonna need silicone, so let me grab it when I can see it. Uh, the nice thing is, is ice and cobalt is very plentiful on the surface, no matter where you are. Uh, so you can get quite a bit of that. So let's go ahead and just grab a couple of more of these cobalts real quick. Yes, my hydration is is low. I know, that's what I'm trying to do, solve that problem. So now we can make some water. Got a couple of ices in our inventory and we'll create water bottles. We've got some oxygen as well. I think that should do it, yep. All right, so let's go ahead and drink some water. Real quick here, there we go. And I'm gonna just toss this oxygen and this water and this water and uh, that oxygen and we're going to make a quick run back to the back to where we landed we're going to go ahead and loot that chest before we go any further and in this episode what i'm uh, basically going to try to do is get my starting base built just enough space that i uh, can put the barren essentials in here right off the bat 
wow, we really are far away here. I didn't realize how far back we were. All right, so we're going to pass up this loot chest right here. There's a few items in here that we left behind, such as food. I guess I'll go ahead and grab the food. Uh, I'm going to need food anyway, so I'll eat one of them. We've got another chest up here. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. I think I can get to the... Uh, to the habitat fast enough. Yeah, this is why I wanted to check this out. These are very important. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that and uh, let's get over here to the habitat before I run out of air. Looks like a sandstorm. All right, awesome. Let's take a look at what I got. I've got a blue chip, that's awesome. And I've got a uh, squash seed for food. Now, let's see if we can get the rest of this inside of here. We can. I'm gonna go ahead and burn one of these irons. I'm just going to create a wind turbine and just lay it right down there. That way I have room to take this iron again. All right, so we're all full up. We're going to head out. We're going to get out of here. Now that wind turbine that I just laid down right there will affect the whole planet, uh, which is awesome. So no matter where you put a, uh, like a wind turbine, a solar panel, uh, whatever it is that generates electricity, you don't have to build it directly uh, next to your base. You can build it anywhere on the planet and you will benefit from it. So it's worldwide connection, right? Pretty cool, right? We'll just go with it. <laughs> All right. I don't know how that magic happens, but hey, I'm glad it does. All right. So, so far, here's what we have for our base. And I've collected enough materials to create a few more storage chests for us. That's the next thing I'd like to get done here. So let's go ahead and create a couple of more boxes that we can uh, throw stuff in. We'll put one right there. And do we have enough for another one? No, we don't. But let's go ahead and offload. This is very important. This is important. This is important. And we'll just go ahead and throw all the food in here. I think I'll eat one to top us off. And uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to start to knock out these walls. We're going to build a, at least one two, three, four, five more modules. So I'm going to head out here and uh, gather the resources I need for that real quick. And I will uh, catch up with you guys in a sec. All right, let's start to expand out a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. And then we'll put another one right here. Let's hop in real quick and grab some oxygen. And then uh, we'll continue on expanding the base. Now we can expand the base from inside as well. So if we want to expand right here and we have the materials to so just look at it and expand it. So we'll go ahead and do that again. All right, that gives us enough room to start. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, what I would like to do is lay down a couple of more uh, storage units right here. So I'm going to grab a couple of iron real quick and we'll do that. All right, let's go ahead and put down a couple of more storage. All right, that gives us a, a little more space here. I'm going to go ahead and drop off the silicone. And let's go back over here. And I'm going to basically make this water and oxygen. So I'm going to go ahead and drink the water. I'm going to take an oxygen. And uh, at this point now, what I want to do is set up a little bit of an electrical grid. We did put one uh, unit down, which is why we have power right now to this station. That one down there by the uh, landing craft is actually supporting that one, uh, uh, our, our habitat right now, which is looking awesome. Later on, I'll add a couple of uh, foundation structures underneath it to give it a more uh, professional look. 
But in the meantime, what I'd like to do is right in this area, let's just go ahead and grab a little more of this iron. Uh, we're going to lay down some uh, windmills. All right, so let's put them down. I like to put them down right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab. I'm going to make as many of them as I can. All right, we've got a nice source of electricity going right there. So next thing I want to do is grab some drills. We're going to need iron and titanium. So we're going to build about five drills. Let me grab a little oxygen here real quick. Hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. And if you're playing the game, I hope the way I start the game uh, kind of gives you guys uh, uh, some tips. Uh, I'm uh, playing it the way I know how to play it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the way I play it. So having said that, let's go ahead and build some drills. So for that, I'm going to need uh, iron and titanium. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get enough of that so that we can get at least five drills going. All right, let's eat a little food. Let's drink a little water. Looks like we got a storm outside here directly. <laughs> Actually landing right on top of the base. So we'll have these random events where all kinds of stuff gets dropped on our base right here. Uh, luckily, some of it is very useful, like iron. We can definitely use more iron. I don't think you can be hurt by this stuff when it drops on you. So, you know, it's just visually pretty uh, cool though, right? Got the damn planet is just like undergoing this uh, meteor strike. Uh, but like I said, each one of those drops some, uh, some valuable uh, resources, so we're good with it. All right, so what I want to do is get some drills down here. So probably going to lay our first set of drills Right over here, I kind of keep things clustered around this column because we are going to be advancing uh, with different and better uh, better stuff. So I just uh, start out real slow here. Not slow, but uh, deliberately make only a few of a certain type because we're going to be needing uh, uh, room to add, you know, upgrades to this. So let's go ahead and have some more oxygen real quick. And go ahead and build the, uh, the last of these. This gets our pressure going on the planet. All right, so now we've got six drills going. We've got some electricity going. We might as well see about crafting our screen now. Let's see what we need for that. We need cobalt and silicone. All right, so this screen will let us see uh, where we are as far as progress with our terraformation. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to grab some iron. Always good to have the iron. And uh, there, silicone right over here. Very good. Probably need more than one. Might as well grab this one. All right. Let's see where we're at here. Get some more iron. Never get enough of this iron. So as soon as I see it, I like to grab it. We just got our first upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade our oxygen tank. So let's go uh, real quickly back to the base. Base is looking pretty cool. I like it. All right, we'll grab that. And let's hop in here. And let's see what we have. We have a new oxygen tank that we can build. And we also need to build our uh, torch so that we have uh, a flashlight. All right, so basically, let's go ahead and build our screen. I'm thinking I want to put a window here eventually and a window here. And I would like to push out a little bit more here. So I think what we'll do is we'll put our put our first screen right over here. Right over here, we'll flip this around. There we go, let me, let me line it up, make sure it looks good. I think that looks good right there. All right, now this is gonna tell us uh, how the terraformation is going. We're headed up to uh, 100 and, uh, you know, 200 TI, we're, we're very, very low right now. We've got to get a couple of more things going. Uh, we need oxygen and heat. So what I think we'll do for the oxygen real quick is let's see if we get ice and magnesium, we can build a veggie tube. So let's get that built sooner than later. So we just need what magnesium and ice, which is right here. 
And that way we can get that one seed that we have going. We can get a little bit of oxygen cooking here. All right, so over here will be our uh, data center. We'll just, we'll just put our first tube right here in the corner. I like to get it nice and close. We have a plant over here, I believe, right? Yep, we'll grab this plant and throw the plant in there and we'll start our oxygen. So that gives us uh, a little bit of oxygen. There we go, one PPQ. All right, so hey, you know, it is what it is. We also need heat, but in order to get heat, we need uh, a specific ore. That ore is in that cave where I'm pointing, directly where I'm pointing, and we'll get to that in a second. All right, let's plop a couple of tables down real quick. And right here, we'll lay our uh, screens. We need this screen right here to monitor our electricity. And we need our blueprint screen, which we have enough to build. So let's just go ahead and put that down right there. And I need uh, just one magnesium. Let me see if I can grab that real quick. Should be plenty of magnesium. And there it is, right outside the door. All right, we'll put down this next screen real quick. Starting to get our infrastructure built. Put that right here as well. All right, this tells us how much consumption we have for electricity and how much we're producing. We're producing 12 even with 10 uh, wind turbines. It tells us how many we put down. We have one down in the valley and we have nine up here. And uh, we have six drills and that's uh, producing, uh, you know, the pressure for us. So we need to keep on keeping on. Everything that we build consumes energy. So we will always be expanding our energy. So at this point, what I need to do is get us a heater. So let's head out here. First of all, before we do that, let's, let's get a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of uh, cobalts, create a couple of oxygen tubes, and uh, let's get some ice. All right, let, let's make up some water real quick. All right, let's drink some water. Let's eat some food. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the water in here. I'm gonna keep the oxygen tubes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out. We're gonna head over to this uh, cave over here. All right, so I'm gonna need one silicone, actually two silicone. I wanna make a uh, two-way door. And we're gonna need uh, iron and titanium. We're gonna build a little uh, safety structure a little habitat inside that cave, uh, which is going to allow us to get the mineral that we need in order to build a heater. Uh, so this is how I've learned to do it. If you guys have any uh, tips or comments, don't forget to drop them in the uh, comment section. And uh, again, if you'd like to hang out with us on the Discord channel, there'll be a uh, link in the description for that as well. All right, let's get over here. We're going to go in here, and this is where we're going to build a quick little habitat. All right, I think we have enough. I think we have enough for the door and uh, the habitat. All right, we're about to run out of oxygen. So let's go ahead and consume an oxygen real quick. Yep, I think we do have everything. We've got an iron right here that we can grab. All right, so right here, let's go ahead and put a place to get air. And then we're going to go ahead and Put a door on it, put a door on this side. That allows us to jump in here and we'll put a door on this side. And this gives us a nice pass through so that we can collect air and go ahead and uh, harvest what we need. And this is what we're looking for right here. These little red gems. Now we can also harvest aluminum down here. And at some point, we will set up an automated mine that will just harvest this for us uh, continuously. But for right now, we're just going to run down here. We'll grab about four of them. That way, we can make four heaters, and uh, that'll get the heat going. And basically, we want to just build on the lower level stuff right now so that we kind of push the, the tiers up, right? We unlock more stuff. Let's grab some air. And uh, let's get out of here. Head right back to the base. So much to do. Uh, so much to explore. Uh, as far as exploration goes now, uh, the game has more biomes than it had when I played it in early access. Uh, there's multiplayer now that did not exist in early access. Uh, the full release versus the game that I played a couple of years ago when it came out in 2022. 
uh, from what I understand, it is a complete uh, uh, advancement now. There's just so much more. Teleportation, I believe, is in the game now. I, I, it just blows my mind. And uh, I thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough because I am really excited to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else I need for a heater. I need iron and silicone. Let's drop off anything that we don't need. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, we don't need this, and we don't need this. So let's go ahead and we'll take the silicone because we do need that. And let's get some iron and silicone, and that way we can build our heaters. All right, that gives us everything we need. We can make four heaters now. And I think what we'll do is we'll put our heaters on this side. This is just the start of our heaters. We just moved into solar power, which is awesome. We can now make solar panels. That's going to give us a lot more energy. And it's not that hard to build iron, cobalt, and silicone. We've got plenty of that. But let's go ahead and put down a heater real quick. So I'm going to put down four of them. I want to make them look good. I'm going to put one right there. Right, and I want to put one right here as well. All right, that gives us four heaters. We're now producing heat. Let's go take a look at our board. All right, we're starting to move up. We've got heat going. We've got pressure going. We've got oxygen going. We're doing very, very well. The main thing that I want to get done is I want to get uh, this oxygen up so that we open up the food grower i'd like to get that opened up uh by next episode i don't know if we'll get it open up now i i don't believe we will uh but anyway that is the goal i that's the next thing the next logical thing is to get that food grower going so basically we want to work and get about you know at least a few more of these oxygen tubes going in here and in order to do that, we're going to have to explore our first downed relic. And that is over there. That's the closest one. I know of another one that's out this way. Uh, that's way up there on that plateau. Uh, that's going to take a couple of, uh, um, you know, housing units along the way. We'll build little, little safe, you know, little habitats to jump into as we're uh, moving through the terrain. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll call it right here. We're in a sandstorm. Uh, we got quite a bit done in the first episode. I think our structure is looking very good. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. If you got any tips for me, please go ahead and drop them in the comments. And until the next episode, like I always say, ta-ta and bye-bye.